When a local doctor ignored some symptoms, he had no idea those were signs of a rare nose cancer. Luckily, his physician was able to catch it, and thanks to a new type of radiation at Beaumont Hospital, he's back treating his own patients. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury shows us why he says everyone should learn from his experience. Having a runny nose or starting to lose your ability to smell may not seem like a big deal, but for one doctor, it turned out to be a rare form of cancer. I know that's what it is. I'm not even going to get evidence, you know, to figure out if I'm right or not. Dr. Summit Subberwall incorrectly diagnosed himself a couple of years ago when the right side of his nose would run often. He didn't put too much thought into it, figured it was a nose polyp. Almost three years later, he noticed his sense of smell decrease, and with the new baby, his wife said... He doesn't smell poopy diapers anymore, <laughs> and that, the, that doctor was like, no men ever smell poopy diapers. <laughs> Turns out this father of two had a rare form of cancer in his nose. So much crying, so much anger, yelling in the shower and punching walls and just thinking I wouldn't be there for my kids. The process of treating the tumor was unique. It was about seven centimeters long sitting between his eyes. Conventional radiation treatment could leave him with brain damage and vision loss. I obviously can't continue my life in my profession without you know, with brain damage and not being able to see. So he went to Beaumont Hospital's Proton Therapy Center earlier this year. Hit a, a personal level with me. Dr. Rohan Durrani Yagala treated Dr. Subrawal, becoming an advocate for him when the insurance company did not want to pay for the procedure that would not only treat the area of the tumor, but it would not harm his eyes or brain. If you have um, a symptom of the head and neck, a problem that's going on, don't ignore it. I just had the thought, I'm as bad as my patients, ignoring my symptoms, not seeing the doctor. <laughs> just last month, Dr. Subberwall got the clear, so he's no longer the patient. He says this experience has made him a better doctor. I'm harder on my patients. If there's something they're like, oh, I, I've ignored it, I've been dealing with that year for years, I'm like, no, you, you get that checked out. He hopes our viewers hear that message loud and clear. In Royal Oaks, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News. Thank you, doctor, for that reminder. Glad he's doing okay now.